friends, welcome to another episode of the Super Pawn Show. We're entering the holidays and it's about to get crazy, so stick around. Again, friends, the holidays at Super Pond are always so exciting. One of the things we do every year is we raffle off the biggest stocking in the world for the kids. This thing is about six feet long. It's not here yet, but it's on its way. Hello, I'm Michael Bennett. I came in search of a camera. Um, nothing in particular. I just want to pick up a new hobby. I'm a truck driver. I see a lot, a lot of good scenery, so. I just want to see what I can find. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm Tom. I'm Mike. Hey, How Mike. Nice to meet you. Uh, what are you looking for today? Oh, I'm just looking for a camera. I'm trying to yeah. pick up a new hobby, man. All know? right. You looking for a DSLR or a point and shoot or something easy, something complicated? Um, since I'm just starting out, something easy. Something you know, easy. Just to get the words in, you know. Yeah, I have a couple. I have a couple of the. Uh, um, the all in ones. See here. So we've got Nikon here, cool picks. Uh, we've got a Canon. We got a Sony. The Sony's real nice, 20 megapixel. And uh, I believe this one takes regular batteries, so you don't have to worry about charging the batteries, which okay. is kind of convenient. You know, you can also get the rechargeable double A's, so that way, you know, if you if you didn't want to have to keep buying batteries, you could do that. Um, it does shoot in, it's 20.1 megapixels, it does shoot in 1080p uh, video, so if you want to shoot some videos, you know, it's always good. If you want, I think there's batteries in it. If you want to check it out real quick, you're more than welcome to. Let me see. That's uh, pretty clear. Hey, question. Can I put my mask on real quick? Oh, uh, sure. How pretty that look? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, movie star <laughs> right there. <laughs> I really don't think I want to see it anymore. Oh yeah, you like that like, one? Like I said, I'm just starting out, you know? Yeah. So it's like... I mean, yeah. the good thing with that, it has an auto feature, so you can just put it on auto and just click and fire. And it will it will focus for you. Um, and then you also have a zoom. You can zoom in and out. I think, yeah, where, where you're right, at there. Right, right, So you can get those close-ups, you know? Okay. So... Have I become a famous photographer? I got you, man. All right, man. Yeah, remember Tom's where it's at. Not quite, so, Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we got a lot of watches. Yeah, pretty decent selection. Thanks. We try to keep a lot of stuff in stock, you know, just so people have choices. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see too many G-Shocks in there. Yeah, because okay. I don't know what my wrist wear. I like to keep it kind of simple. You know, I'm not really flashy. Gotcha. Uh, pocket watches. Oh, that's a nice fork. It's nice to wear forks. Hey. No, I'm just kidding. Wear right around my ear. Uh, no question about these pocket watches. Yeah. Are they Are they very nice collector items? They're, well, so, you know, the, the integrity into a pocket watch is the movement. Right. Um, you know, most of these, like, most of these pocket watches, like these two here are probably early 1900s, um, you know, turn of the century. They were, pocket watches were very popular. Mm. So, and that's what people would buy. Now, the, like this one here, this is a Jules Jurgensen. This is probably 1970s, 1980s. So it's, you know, they were trying to bring the fad back. But, um, you know, you're able to trace these to like, like I had one that my grandmother had and I was able to trace it back to the store that sold it. Wow. And, you know, like, and it was in Utica, New York, and, you know, in the year that it was purchased, and it was pretty cool. And, you know, that jewelry store is still in business today.
right, well, let's get you rung up, and uh, that way you can hit the road and make some money, and that way you can come back and spend some more. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna go over here. We'll get you rung up. Guys, hey, everybody, we have a first timer. All right. Welcome to Super Pond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greetings, so, greetings. Uh, do you have your ID in you? I'll put you in real quick. I enjoyed my experience today. Um, came out with a great camera. I'm going to try to do my best to not mess up the earth scenery, natural beauty with my flimsy fingers. You know, these things kind of fat. Um, I'm, a, I'm from a small city called Auburn, Georgia. I drive trucks and I also, <clears throat> also do poetry from time to time to gerbils. So, thank you for having me. Thank y'all for showing me love. Thank y'all for giving me this nice camera. I will most definitely be here Total again. Taxes, 185 49 You want to use the card? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. Hey, man, we appreciate you. My name is Omar, this is my friend Mark. We're here to get rid of this Razor scooter. Hopefully somebody can slice and dice on the streets with it. Thank you, we're out. I like to have a good time and smile. Hey, what's going on? Trying to sell the scooter. Okay, cool. We're gonna learn how to fix that. There's gonna be a lot of room out there. Yeah, it's definitely something we'd buy. It's hard to do alone on a scooter like this. You got the charger with it? That's the one that I don't have. Oh, no. And it's like five bucks at Walmart. Look it up. Well, right I'm here. pretty sure they're closer to thirty dollars. No, look, I just no, looked it just up. Look, check it out. A couple of days ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Five bucks yeah, at Walmart. Like oh, that's much better yeah. than I thought. Yeah, oh, yeah it's yeah. a lot better. Because it seems. Look at that weird cord. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's like they, they sell it at Walmart. I'm gonna show you right here. Um, so I don't know. It's gonna be charge tough it, for charge it for razor scooters. It's gonna be tough for us to take without a charger. Just cause, like a laptop I'll go buy, I'll go buy one right now. Yeah, maybe I'll go buy one and come right back. back. Maybe we'll make out a, a deal on how much we could Raise do. Raise your skill. Hold on. You buy the cord and then we'll... Uh, I mean, cords are like so cheap, man. Well, that's like not in our charger. experience. It's like a little... Look, they ain't got no uh, motors on them. Well, that's that. a different brand name. Uh, no, but that has no motor and it, those are like 220 something dollars. I'm just saying to myself, if it doesn't have a motor for two hundred and twenty-seven dollars yeah. well, with like no motor, we like to compare apples to oranges. Here, don't lean on this. Oh, I'm sorry. It, the glass broke recently. So, oh, I'm sorry. So here's pre-owned ones who just sold in sold and completed listings. This one sold on September twenty-fourth, oh, thirty-three dollars. Oh wow. Thirty-five dollars. Sixty dollars. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This one's got a seat with it, <laughs> but for fifty-seven. dollars Right, right, right. But that was sixty. Look. All right. Right. Yep. All right, so let's do 40 then. Something's... Well, so if they, one sold for 33, another one sold for 35, and another one sold for 60, right. that average is about, about maybe 40. 40. Right. But we buy stuff for about half of what we think we can sell it for. Uh, so that's about 20 right. bucks. I had already uh, said 25, right. I'm that's okay with 25. Right, right, right. So if you but you won't pawn it, you won't, you won't, I gotta sell it yeah, though, right? Sell it. Yeah, no, so 25. Um, I but, think it's worth more than that, but how, well, it I, is. I, it's I, worth I, about forty, it looks like, right? Yeah, well, look, and we check can, this out. Uh, let me see. Let me talk about my. Let me talk about my diamonds real quick. Let's take and a look then, at them. Yeah, look at these diamonds, and then we'll see. I might not have to do it at all. And does your your machine check the clarity too? Uh, well, just with my eye. Uh, okay. You don't have a glass. Ooh, this stuff's not playing around, man. Messing nice everybody's guy. pockets up. Messing pockets up. I can't take it, man. This is crazy. Close. Get you about halfway there. We got 50 bucks here for these earrings. That's for, hey. I'll do. I'll take 60. That's, that's good. <laughs> hey, look, no, seriously, I think 60. Uh, I can understand you wanting to get 60 for them. Mm-hmm. 
I'm able to max out. I just wanted to give you my highest and best price. I can go to 50 for you, right. but to go more than 50, I need more stuff. But okay. I can do it on a loan, that way you can get it back. Yeah, yeah. $57. That's cool. Cool. That's All cool. right, let me get your ID. Let's make this No happen. problem. Let's Uh, I made out pretty good today. I gave him an offer. He couldn't refuse. Call me Vito. For the own, baby. I'm out. Yeah, but I'm um, coming to Super Pond. It's an awesome place. I've been coming here for years. Back when it was before they remodeled and before they did all the hired all the people in here when it was really small. So I've been coming here for years. Come to Super Pond. Wait. Cool. This is your ticket here. So it's a 30-day loan. That's 30 days from today. Right. Okay. These are your options to get it back out. 57.50 gets it out, or seven dollars fifty cents gets you another month if you need more time. Okay. okay yeah, yeah. The state law requires that it has to be here for a minimum of 18 days. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Signatures leave. Thanks. Hey, and no problem. Have and a good one. Thanks. So Tom does a great job of understanding. He does a lot of homework. He he does a lot of he 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 what? Let me start all over. <laughs> There are so many nuances to this business and there is so much to learn that not a single one of us across the entire country knows everything because that would just be impossible. So there's so much more to learn and Tom keeps that front and center in his mind. He knows that the longer he's here, the more he can learn and that's exactly what he does. He's like a sponge and for 30 years he's been soaking up product knowledge so that when you walk in here and you deal with him, you know you're dealing with the best. I'm the best. <laughs> hey, Mr. David. Yeah, Mr. Tom. How you doing today? So it's good to see you. you hey. Nice place, sir. So Mr. David is one of our favorite clientele. Even though he hasn't been around as much as he used to, he still comes by and checks us out. But I'm in back. I'm back. Definitely. He's back. He yeah. said he's back. So Mr. David, anytime we need a limo ride, Mr. David is our guy. He works for NSP Services, and they give, if it's just a night out on the town, or your celebrity like me, <laughs> they do it all. We so, take care of it. But we appreciate you, and we appreciate everything you do for us, Mr. It's always, it's always good Thank to you. see you. You have nice yeah. things here. Thank always, you. Always. So what are you looking for today? Uh, you know me, I'm always trying to look. I've never decided when I see, yeah. That's how I make my choice. We've got That's some fantastic way. stuff today. Why don't you yeah. come on over to now, the By the way, show. I got this, uh, I would say, I got this uh, Fendi with like $500 uh, coughing. I got it from you. Yeah. So that was a nice gift. We hooked you up, didn't we? Always. Always. Always, always hook people up. That's yeah. what we do. It's not just so. me, everybody. Now, and I always say, people are more, more than welcome to come and stop and see what I can have. Yeah. And they will have a nice guy. All right. Well, yeah. come on over. Let's take a look and see what we have. And uh, are we on the million dollar budget today? or? Uh... I'm not yet a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Real not yet close, so? <laughs> uh, I'm just a regular person. Yeah. Well, we have a nice, fantastic uh, bracelet. We do have a fantastic lighter. I don't know if you're a big fan of lighters. I know okay. that's like. You know, when someone needs their cigarette lit and you pull out the, the I got, fantastic lighter? I had one like that about five years ago. Yeah. I bought it from my pawn shop. Uh huh. And it turned up being a nice gift that I offered to a prince. Oh, wow. Which I'm not going to give the name. Of but course. it's one of the top Saudi prince. It, okay, yeah, yeah. It definitely wasn't Prince Tom. No, everybody's <laughs> a friend, so, but I'll take a look for what he has. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll take a look for what he has. So, uh, we got some coins as well today, but this right here, this is the S.T. DuPont, oh. New York Fifth Avenue. Yeah, that's an antique. That's an antique. That's a beautiful lighter there, so. Oh, can I take a look on that pen? Yeah, absolutely. Mont Blanc. And I have this one from you also. I have this one from you. Oh yeah. This is 800 and I have it from here. This is uh, downhill. 
go. So we have here, this um, is the Mont Blanc Princess de Grace, Prince, Princess Grace de Monaco fountain pen. Oh, that's a nice, it's beautiful. Take a look. It's a thousand and two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, this is the most expensive because when it's when this one is uncle ink, yeah. that's where it costs more money. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It costs more money. It's got the 18 karat nib and uh oh, it's all really cool. So. so what will be the lowest you can go on there? 1050. Make the offer. You I'm know, trying to I say haven't five, kicked, five to six. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. kicked anyone out yet today, but oh, at man. five or six, <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Mr. Tom, I want to get a nice watch again. I don't know if I can get a nice watch from you. So when you say nice watch, you know the way I do, I mean, for me, is always, always, when I get inside a pawn shop, the secret for me is not just that I'm coming from coming to look for this. When I walk inside and this is what I'm gonna advise, everybody go to the pawn shop. You'll be surprised at what you see and the price that you're getting it for. So go with the intention that you're looking for something, not a specific some a specific brand, but it can be anything. Right. And end up being the best thing you have then. Yeah. Yeah so Rolex Oh how about a nice how about a nice Movado chronograph? Look at that one. To move right up? Yeah. I don't want to sell it for me like 25. Yeah. How much you want to go? Orlando plan? These are nice. This is priced at $5.99. In the store is how much? It's pretty clean. Uh, I believe these are $13.99. I, I, I can double check that, but. No, yeah, double I check. Believe. Give me a good price. I'll buy it. Okay. Let me see what I can find yeah. out on it. Yeah. You like that one now? Is yes. that nice looking? If you say so, you say I, it. I, I think it's a nice watch. Yeah. So. But I can change, put the bracelet, a black bracelet on it. Yeah, absolutely. So it looks like they're a little less than I thought. They're about $900 new at Movado. Um, you we had it at $599. What do you, you want to do? What would be, be the best you make, make me a little better off than three. Three fifty. I think we can do that. Taxes? Well, we'll you got to pay the tax. Yeah. But there's no. Oh no. There's no tax in Delaware. But at Super Pond, there is tax. <laughs> so the total is three seventy one. Did you want to do card or cash? Okay, yeah, sir. Cash. cash. Okay. I just need that from you. Congratulations on your purchase today. That's your receipt. You have ten dollars change. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you. It seems like the most valuable and expensive items that we take in are the first ones to sell. For some reason, it's much easier for us to sell a Rolex for eight or nine thousand dollars than it is to sell a hundred dollar watch. And that's because people really seek out the finer things. And that gives us the chance to pay much more for the better items. And that's one of the things that makes us number one in the entire world. Friends, while we have a moment, I just want to thank all of you for watching the show and thank those of you who come to us for being our customers. We definitely appreciate your business and we will always do our best to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Thanks for checking us out. Good morning. My name is Lawrence Cheeks from the DC metropolitan area. I own Cheeks Bake Shop and Catering out of um, Brian's Road, Maryland, Charles County. I also do uh, several different jobs. I have a lawn cleaning service, a pressure wash as well. I've also come to this pawn shop right here for a reason today, just looking around. But I've always come and find what I need and something else. I always get great deals. The service is always awesome. So come on out here, guys, and check them out. They've got great products, great service in-house. Thank you.
Tom. Hey, Tom. Lawrence. Fist Whatever. Pump. I'm good with the handshake, yeah, man. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys are great, man. I've been coming here for years. Um, oh, we appreciate that. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, my niece just called me. I sent her a picture of the two buffers out there. Oh, gotcha. I might have called her back to see what she's, she's supposed to met with a guy this afternoon, but I don't know if he's going to come do because she just called me. All right. So well, in another week, we have about four or five extractors coming out. I don't know if they, she needs an extractor as well. Well, what it is, is she has an old, a property in Baltimore and okay. it has wooden floors. Oh, okay. So they're just going to keep the floors wooden. Okay. Just want to buff them, stuff just like buff that. Just buff them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I need a um, the Waltz cool charger and battery, or if you got some new batteries for like those. The 20 volt or the 18 volt? 18 volts. volts. No, we kind of stopped taking 18 volt stuff a while ago. Um, I'll look in the back real quick to see if we have anything. We might have like a drill with some batteries. Yeah, I need. That's mean, fairly I mean, inexpensive. Yeah, because I just bought a. Um, Sawzall, but it didn't have the charger. It works, it just didn't have the right. charger stuff with it. So we got like that uh, Vac Attack 2, uh, Humalite, the handheld one, and then we also have the Big Boy Echo that's brand new in the box. And then we also have the Shred and Vac Echo. So, uh, why don't you take a look at those? Let me see if I have any of the 18 volt stuff in the back real quick. news and a bag so this is a battery charger and impact gun two batteries charger and impact gun okay that battery looks pretty fresh too it looks fresh. I just so still got a little bit of charge on I just it just bought one of these oh yeah well that's okay you can uh, have a second backup you know how about if i bring mines in here sell you mines and buy this how about I just sell oh, just you? Just give me that one. How about, that. how about you just buy this one for 60 and then you get How about we do that? How about we do that? How about we do that? I think you got $130 or something on it. Yes, no, it looks like 139 How about 120 on that? How about we hold off on that? I'm going to get this because I definitely need this. I do have. What do you want to do on the low? Honey? A little, I know it's a little low. Let's just make it happen, okay? All right, between that and that. Yep. All right. What else? Anything else? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, now that we got the money flowing, that's it's right. good to <laughs> let it keep flowing. The more I spend, the better my deal get. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that little one you had out front. This is brand new. This one's brand new. Uh, this one is brand new. Yeah, that's yeah. brand new. Let me get that. Okay. I ain't got time, man. All right. This is, that's what happened. The one I got is used and it's starting to spit oil out the bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, it has? Oh, let me get that ID again. Uh, it's just... been a while. There ain't nothing to stand so... on the back of it. Oh, there's not? <laughs> oh, well, then let me just uh... type it in. Yeah, I'll just type it, it in. This yeah. scan is done. All right. I live in Charles County. I rode all the way to Lowell just to come here to this pawn right. shop. And I always find great deals. Got a brand new blower. And a nice hammer drill. How you doing, man? All right. So, right with you. If hey, we you got need lawn and garden service, or I am a chef by trade. I do all types of chef cooking, baking, you name it. 301 291 1688. Chef Cheeks is my name. Thank you. All right. Grand total with tax, one sixty nine and sixty cents on, on the card. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, I mean, I love the kitchen. I love what I do. I've been cooking and baking since nineteen eighty two. Born and raised in Washington D.C. Do a lot uh, as far as food service. As a matter of fact, getting ready to start uh, becoming a chef at a nursing home, a not a nursing home, but a senior facility in the state of Baltimore. So, always trying to help people give back. Anything we can do to help others, that's what it's all about. And especially right now, we have to help each other. And get out there and vote. Please, Super Pond here in Laurel, you got to come and see my man Tom. Tom is the best. Come on out to uh, Super Pond in Laurel and see Tom. He's the greatest on any one of his staff. They will take good care of you at any time, any day that you come in. They got great prices. You, I'm guaranteeing you're going to find what you're looking for. Shop here.
people always ask us, how do you determine the value of these rare items that you've never seen before? And that's a very good question. What we do is we rely on our experience over decades combined. We have over 200 years of experience in the pawn business in this building. So we rely on our experience and we look at other known examples that have sold. Now, it's very difficult to research some of these, but we have memberships to some exclusive websites that give us the valuation of thousands of items that nobody's ever seen before. And that really helps us give the highest possible price for these types of items. People who know us know that we are without a doubt the number one and best pawn shop to come to to get the highest cash price for items and to get fairness and respect. So going forward, once the government moratoriums on evictions and foreclosures and those sorts of things start filtering through, we expect to have a pawn tsunami with a lot of people who need a lot of help and we're ready to give it to them. We are prepared to come through for you. because this is only the second time I'm here. I just want to say that this place is definitely legit. The people, customer service, I'm a, just happen to be a customer service specialist. I live it 24 hours a day. Safety and everything that I uh, you know, live for is right here. This place, the people mainly, for as customer service, I've never, this is, like I said, this is the second time I've been here, but uh, I give them, like, there's no limit to the percentage as far as their customer service. They are great, the prices are extremely reasonable. I've been dealing with pawn shops for over by about 40 years, but this is the most reasonable place I've ever been to. And I've never seen such great customer service. The folks are natural, they're nice, has nothing to do with color or anything like that. They're just natural, and the place is just great. I come here and recommend anybody to come here to this place. This place is lovely, I, I love it. So I'm here to say, hey, God bless this place, and may they prosper. Thank you very much.